reporting partly cloudy skies. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I started this day at 3 a.m. and it's 4.30 p.m. But the good chunk of this travel day is done. I just have to get on one last tiny plane. Costa Rica isn't that, like we're in Costa Rica right now, it isn't that hard to get to, but Santa Teresa, a part of Costa Rica, is really hard to get to. So it took an entire day, but I'm surprisingly like not tired don't want a coffee like everything's fine but still a really really long day and Santa Teresa and yesterday was quite the travel adventure where I am specifically Santa Teresa is really hard to get to I think I kind of explained that yesterday but you need to take like a tiny plane and another like 40 minute taxi ride so in all two taxi rides and three planes to get here so all of yesterday but I slept decently well last night and I feel you know ready for the day i am a little tired but i'm just gonna ignore it and try to like get through today because i find it is so much easier for me to go to sleep early and wake up early living here i don't know why something about just i think it also it gets dark early in costa rica like kind of year round um sunset is like 6 6 37 we went on a beautiful walk on the beach this morning um had breakfast and I'm gonna get a workout in. I think today I'm just gonna work with what we got here. We got a little backyard, let me show you. It's a good amount of space. Sorry, the ground is uneven, so the camera's uneven, but I made a little workout. Basically gonna be legs and a little bit of core, but I don't have any weights. So I do have some bands. So I'm gonna try to do some band work for anything that I wrote weighted, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be tough, I'm ready though. Also, it's super loud here. I don't know if it's because I think this place is like kind of exploding and like we were just talking about it. It's kind of becoming like a mini Tulum um, vibe. But yeah, it's busy. So the cars and the ATVs, motorcycles, that noise never stops. Even at like 12 in the morning. <laughs> myself traveling is a lot easier than filming myself like day to day back home but it's still hard like there's a restaurant behind me and everyone watched me set up my camera and sit down here I have been on too many amazing life-changing vacations and 
didn't film any of it because I was just too scared. So we're done with that. We're done with being scared in 2023. Yeah, I'm just gonna read my book. I haven't read it in a while. So I kind of forget where I left off. I feel like it's probably different for everybody. So we were in there for a total of five minutes and he explains a little bit in the beginning. He's like, the hardest part is definitely the first minute or two um, where your body's like adapting to what's happening and just kind of overall like freaking out because your body literally goes into fight or flight and you just have to breathe and meditate on it and let it happen and push through it and fully surrender. Um, you know to get the most benefit out of it so took a couple breaths got ready but like there's no i don't know i feel like there's no way to actually be ready you just kind of have to like take a few breaths and just jump in um especially for your first time because you just like i had no idea what to expect you know what i mean i knew it was gonna be cold but like i've never pushed myself to sit in cold water for five minutes ever in my life so the first 30 seconds were truly unbearable like, and I don't want to say this to scare anybody because it's worth it in the end, but the first 30 seconds, like you're just fighting yourself. You're truly fighting yourself and your mind and your body and like you, your body wants to freak out. It wants to like hyperventilate and like get out. And you just have to like fake at the beginning, or at least I had to like fake these deep breaths and just like try to come into it, try to relax. And I don't know when it started to get better maybe about halfway through so maybe two and a half minutes in i went a little bit deeper in the water so the water was like completely covering everything but my head and i don't know how it happened but i started to feel warm like i actually started to feel warm and i also i felt very like numb within my body but i really started to feel warm and just fully connected to my breath and that's where my mind was coming in and was like you should be cold right now like you should be really really cold and the more attention i gave that thought the colder i became so it was just like trying to repress that thought focus on my breath and anytime i would get back to that state i would feel warm very strange sensation but yeah i definitely want to do it again i thought we were going to do two sessions of five minutes so as i was in there like trying to just like adapt to what was happening i was like i'm supposed to hop out wait a bit and then do this again like the thought of that was freaking me out but it's just it was just a five minute session um but anyways i really i really enjoyed it i really recommend you just have to fully surrender and trust you know what's happening and like just let it happen and not freak out it's just a really big mental test like you are just fighting fighting your own ego that is trying to like save you know your body thinking that you're like in danger tomorrow's a new moon 
So I'm really excited. I hope hopefully we can like go to the beach with some friends and just manifest and have a lovely time. I'm very surprised with how sore I am from that workout. I will never dismiss like a band workout ever again in my life. That was so hard. I'm extremely sore today. Like just flexing my leg, I can't. So I wanna do a little workout today, just like back and arms. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna go out for dinner. I'll catch up with you later if we do anything fun or interesting. That's all for now. in the morning and it's our last day and I'm up because I need to go film this superstar surfing today how big are the waves gonna be six feet for sure six feet you gonna do it you gonna do it then <laughs> uh, <he's what? laughs> 